You probably don't hear me now either, do you? Anything? Oh, you can hear me. Okay, great. Hey, there we are. I was so excited uh, with my new fucking gothic Dark Souls background. You know, I didn't turn on the fucking mic, so what do you want? You can hear my t-shirt. There's something wrong with this t-shirt? I got I give myself a new haircut today, and uh, let's just say the back is real bad. Uh, haunted lamps added again. Ghost light. Fucking ghost lights on, man. Ghost light. God damn it. Um, how's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. What's popping? What is popping, everyone? Uh, let's turn off all the lights. There we go. Um, front looks good. Front looks good. Sides look good. Back looks like a toupee hanging off a shelf is what the back looks like. It's not good. The back is the hardest part to do, and it's the part that nobody sees on the stream, so I don't give a shit. Uh, hi, hello, everyone. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? You know, we got this one. We also got... We could go... We're feeling... Uh, can go nope that's not the one i want to do I can do this one is that the one no oh yeah wait we could do yeah there we go that that uh, murder party i like this one better uh house inspection today you have one illegal toilet what makes it illegal did you just shit in it too hard what's the deal just too much pooping is it the actions? Is it the actions it's taken in the past that makes it illegal? I'm so curious, I must know. I don't want to. I want to get this fucking thing off the. Is that gonna work? I guess. Good enough. Um, all your poops are illegal. There you go. Hello, Julia. Ooh, Jamie. Why has today been shit? Let's talk about it. Uh, unspeakable things. They sound speakable. They sound very speakable, honestly. Um, been a super fun night. Sewer blockage and a broken window on your house. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that shit. What's up, Glendalpha? Um, there is a dog. Yes, I've got the window open. It's a dog. It's outside. I wonder what's going on. Let's, let's check it out. Should we check out this dog? Oh, no, you know what? It's the dog upstairs. It's the dog upstairs. That's what it is. Uh, a blog in the mix. Um, there is a dog, yes. Uh, here's the thing. Hey, what's up, Katie? All right, here's the thing, guys. I think it's time we talk about the rental. Let's talk about it. Let's talk, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Upstairs dog. Steal the dog. No, thanks. Let's talk about it. This, is, this, this background's making me a little sick. Let's ch let's have fun. Let's have some fun. All right, let's talk about the rental, okay? Here's the deal. Yeah, I, I, I bought a bunch of new backgrounds, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay. The rental. Hey. I don't want a dog, no. I don't want anything I have to take care of. Dog, person, whatever. It's saved by the bell, that's right. So here's the thing. Let's talk about the rental, all right? The deal is, if you haven't seen the rental, we're going to talk about it right now. I've become an 80s Trapper Keeper. I'm trapped inside a Trapper Keeper. And it's the fake plants. That's true. That's right. Exactly. See, it all comes together. I'm on brand always. Dean, your toilet is going to sue you for abuse. I don't even want to know what Facebook is talking about right now. Uh, the deal is this. The deal is... Th All right, we're going to talk about the rental. Here's my thing with the rental. I thought it was... Well-directed. Is there? A I'm sure there's a Lisa Frank version of this. I thought it was well directed. I thought uh, it was very beautiful. It's okay, dear lady. I mean, I'm about. I'm gonna spoil some shit for everybody. So if you don't want to hear about the rental, come back in it at in six minutes. If you don't want to know about the rental, come back at seven twenty. Oh my god, fuck. Jamie, what are you guys talking about? Timer starts now. Here we go. All right, the rental. Here's the problem. Here this the rental is a movie about a two couples who Oh, that's better. Who a go who rent a house um 
okay. Who they they rent a house and they go uh, uh, on the coast. It's a secluded house uh, from this caretaker. It's two guys, two girls, um, uh, two couples. One of the women. Yeah, I was going to see it and got a post-it note to write the name of it down. I forgot to write it down and couldn't figure out the post-it note it was for until now. Dan Stevens is great. Everybody in it is great. I really love the acting. I love the guy who played the caretaker. I thought he was the best. Um, you had to break with a friend today. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, Jamie. I've had to do that too. And you know what? You'll be better for it. Trust me. Two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. No. So here's the deal. They rent this house. Okay. So there, there's – what happens is – Two, uh, so guy, girl, guy, girl, okay? Two couples. One of the guys works with his brother's girlfriend, okay? And they're like overly comfortable. In the beginning, even you think that they're dating, but they're not. So they go to this house uh, and um, uh, the caretaker was awesome. He was the best part of the movie by far for me. But here's the thing. So what ends up happening is they take a bunch. Uh, Alice and Bree goes to bed. The other three of them take a bunch of ecstasy. The two of them end up hooking up. The guy who and the girl is is he fucks his brother's girlfriend basically, um, and they're super fu- they're super hungover the next day. They they're like the other two. Go- I'm not explaining this well. Here's what happens. Here's the story of The Rental. The Rental is a movie about two couples who go to this house. They have interpersonal dynamic problems. And then it's exacerbated by they find a bunch of cameras in the house. And oh my God, oh my God. The caretaker is a sick fuck. He's videotaping us and all this stuff. So they don't want, like two of the people in the house want to keep the secret from the other two people. Got it? Okay. Here's where I had a problem with it. It did that thing where it's it's setting up a fun thing, right? It's setting up a f- fun dynamics, fun stuff. But then it ends before, like, the Act 3 was bullshit. Like, it ends before uh, anything. Yeah, Katie, it's streaming now on Amazon. So I didn't, li- I, I thought it was, like, just when it was starting to get going, it ended. And I was like, all right. And I'm not going to completely spoil it for people who still want to see it. Uh, but what ends up happening is... I want it. What ends up happening at the end? I wanted to happen about halfway through the movie. I thought it would be way more interesting. It played that game of like, I think they're trying to make it like super realistic. Like this could happen, but in making it super realistic, they just made it fucking boring and it, it kind of pointless at the end. So the whole thing was just kind of like, oh, it's just starting to get going. And then I was like, all right, well, fuck this movie. Uh, again, I did care about the characters. Yeah. Dear lady fell asleep. That's exactly my point. If it had ended, if where the end happened, so basically, like, they're clearly setting it up for another film, and Dave Franco has said he wants to make another a sequel, but it's that shitty thing where it's like, I wish he would have just made the sequel, because I'm sure the sequel will start out way better. Like, they started too far back, and by the time they crossed the finish line it was almost over i mean the, the kind of, by the time they ca- crossed the starting line it was almost over yeah i didn't have my mind blown at all i thought it was completely fucking stupid it was literally really stupid uh it was super lame yeah it was a it was a real disappointment and but it was beautiful again you just want it to be way more fucked up and have way more happen than it actually did so i don't think it's worth a rental sorry um one thing i do think is worth watching that i've been watching is um i watched last night is so do you guys know who neil blomkamp is all right so we're done talking about the rental i i by the way i'm one minute under yeah neil blomkamp is the guy who did district nine he did uh Oh, I, I'll, all right. I'll see Gaspar Noe's new movie. I hear it's actually supposed to be happy. Yeah, District 9, right? Neil Blomkamp. And at one point, he was supposed to direct the new Aliens movie. Anyway, he did Chappie. He did uh, Elysium, which uh, both of those sucked. And District 9 was the best out of all those, I thought. Yeah. But uh, his studio, Oat Studio, did a – on Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. It's basically like a bunch of unfinished projects. 
of like proof of concept stuff he's done and little tiny short films and that stuff. And I thought it was awesome. Really, really great. Really weird. Really fun. Spoiler alert's over. That's right, Mark and Katie and Dean. That's over. We're not talking about the rental anymore. Chappie was a movie about a, a it had Hugh Jackman and a robot in it. Elysium, by the way, same problem. You want it to get crazier quicker. Don't don't start too far back from the starting line, man. Start at the starting line. Will you Will you would fucking love this? I was gonna text you about it. It's awesome. It's just called. It's like Oat Studio Presents. It's like the shittiest name, but it's basically like it starts off. It's all basically short film little bits of stuff, but the first part of it is like three parts of something that clearly is a pitch for a real movie. And it has Sigourney Weaver in it, and maybe even David Harbour. Um, I don't know. I can't tell who the one guy is played by. But, um, and it's free on Prime, by the way. Yeah, it's this. It is, um, let's see if we can do a little screen. Uh, my new thing, guys, is like screen capture, right? What's up with that? Here it is right here. Oat Studio Volume 1. There you go. There you go. Experimental shit. Uh, collection of experimental content with my director on Blanc Camp. Yeah, it's great. Um, very into it. Very fun. Super fucking weird. And very. some of it's very funny. I have seen Memento. I love Memento. Have you read the short story by Jonathan Nolan that he wrote, that his brother directed from? It's even better than the movie. I'm writing something right now that's uh, heavily inspired by that short story. It does need a prequel. I agree. I'm writing it. Yeah, I'm writing a crazy story. Oh, fuck. There goes my ring. Yeah, I was up till three, like, writing this fucking story. And I'm open. maybe we'll make it a short film. I don't know. So good. Yeah, yeah agreed. Uh, the short story, by the way, is fantastic. It's online. I think it was in Vanity Fair, but you can read it for free. It's really great. It's much, uh, much darker. Yeah. This background beats the rainbow background. All right. Let it fall. Uh, but yeah, uh, Oat Studios Volume 1 was great. Rental, shitty. What else? Relic, we already talked about that. But as somebody who's constantly trying to get projects made... The Oat Studio thing really affected me because it made me feel good. It made me feel like, oh, like everybody is struggling and trying to make stuff. Neil Blomkamp, who's made huge, amazing movies, still has trouble. He doesn't just get to hit home runs every time either. He still has to go out and do the thing and get financing and all that stuff. So it made me feel good about my life, which was good. Uh, Gingris, but prequels fine but it's if they do it in a fun way it can really inform the previous work that's what i thought was great about um rogue one everybody's trying their best man we're all trying uh all right what's the best prequel we can think of what's the best prequel Yeah, and Memento was great. I mean, again, like it, it's it's one of those movies where I think he probably told the whole story. Um, but it would be hard to expand upon that world. There are times when where what happens in the original doesn't necessarily negate the possibility of a prequel telling a great story. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, but that's my point, is I think Rogue One... It's not a straight prequel, and that's that's how I think why it succeeds. Monsters University, I never saw. Star Wars Episode Two. Oh, I see. Um, God, everybody's talking about Umbrella Academy. I guess I gotta watch it. Yeah, shots fired, loving it up. Watch it. Oh, Dean, what are you making there, buddy? Lot, a lot of red pepper flakes? Holy fuck. I had pancakes for dinner. I'm running out of food and trying to not do that thing where I don't eat. Um, Captain Marvel was good. Game of Thrones prequel series could be cool. Oh, yeah, First Class was fun. X-Men was fun. 
Oh, Fantastic Beast. That's interesting. I didn't see it. I got to see Umbrella Academy too, Mark. Toga says, I decided to start writing a little journal about my observations. I love looking for the tiniest details. I think that's why I'm so into fashion too. I love writing essays and anything having to do with the world around me. See how it goes. Look up Wallace Shawn, Toko. Wallace Shawn's great. His essays are fantastic. Uh, Fury Road, Dizzy Death, I think was a prequel. Not a straight prequel, but I think it's supposed to take... No, it takes it takes place because he has the Interceptor. So I think it takes place before Thunderdome, right? It's supposed to take place, I think, after Mad Max two and before thunderdome right i think it takes place after the one with humongous ah slow burn says dear lady hey christina what's up katie's making ice soup interesting uh prometheus had some fun ideas i think it Got fucked up by the studio system is what I think. But it definitely had some fun ideas to it. <laughs> yes. I explained Umbrella Academy to him before that ad. So there you go. Oh, Enterprise never saw Enterprise. All right, Christina. See you later. Okay, what should we play? What should we play? I don't think we settled on the best prequel. But, I mean... Ooh, season two is better than season one. The next show I have to watch is Watchmen. That's right, Katie. Fury Road is basically a reboot of Mad Max. Miller would only call it a revisiting. Interesting. I think it just takes place in that world, right? Yeah, I know who Wallace Shawn is. Have you read any of Wallace Shawn's stuff? He's not just an actor. Didn't like didn't like Watchmen. Why? best prequel it's all subjective man we're talking about opinion jungle jim can you call it a prequel if it was made first no you can't hellblade yes we should definitely play some hellblade Obviously, the best one is Dumb and Dumber when Harry met Lloyd. I've never seen the original Dumb and Dumber. Is that fucked up? Dear Lady said, I love Watchmen, the graphic novel, and just what they did to some characters upset me. Huh. So it's not a prequel to the movie? It's separate? Got it, Toko. Ooh, anti-fogomatic. Favorite prequel is the intro scene to Indiana Jones: The Last Crusade. Is awesome. Is that where he runs in and his dad makes him count down from ten? Oh, uh, goulash is great. I'm starving. Resident VR. That was the oak. What does oak mean? Uh, yes, we're gonna try to play some Resident VR. Oh, it takes place after the comic. Oh, interesting. Uh, all right, let's do it. Oh my god, this fucking background looks insane. Just looking at it. No, they rewrote some characters completely. Like, who did they rewrite? Oh. Well, don't no spoilers, but I am curious about who they rewrote. I mean, again, Watchmen is like... Okay, yeah, don't spoil it then. I will say, though, I think the power of Watchmen comes with something that isn't so groundbreaking these days, which is uh, like a postmodern take on superheroes, which is really interesting. Um, yeah, it's very Saved by the Bell. So it's like, but I think we've seen that done a lot now. I mean, you have something like The Boys, which is not only, it's like post-postmodern, because you've got, like if you're if you're if Watchmen if the big revelation of of Watchmen was that superheroes are flawed and in a flawed world and there's no no good and no bad and if Osmandius if what he does 
he thinks he's saving lives, but then he's obviously also fuck killing a lot of people. So, like, what is good? What is bad? It's like at the end, Dr. Manhattan says, and I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about the comic. He's like, you know, he's like, Osmandius is like, in the end, I did the right thing, right? And he goes, the end. Nothing ever ends. Just kind of like this haunting phrase that Dr. Manhattan leaves him with, which is like, yeah, man, like, there is no good. There's no evil. There's just what we do, and we have to live with the consequences of our actions. So then that's that, right, with Watchmen. And then you have something like The Boys, which is a commentary on that. You're not only saying now that superheroes are flawed and and can be flawed and there's no real good guys or bad guys, but you're saying like, oh, well, now they're actually just corrupt. All the, the or Lord Acton, all power corrupts and absolute power uh, corrupts absolutely. And now you're having fun with that premise, which is great. I really want to see the movie Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Jamie Foxx where people get powers and they have to fight them. I really liked uh, Powers. The, the comic book was fantastic. I thought that was great. They were rewriting it for sure based off the idea of Watchmen, but it's not the Watchmen comic at all. That's fine. I see. Hancock was good. Again, End was completely stupid, but I liked the initial idea of it. Um... Save the spoils for the... Dude, Watchmen came out in the fucking 80s, man. If you haven't read a fucking comic book from the 80s, three decades is... Or four decades now we're talking. 30 years is enough where you don't get... Same thing with V for Vendetta, man. I'm sorry. Hey, Stock. You you gotta... At some point, if you're gonna fucking read it, you just gotta go and read it. 25 years feels like enough uh, time period. Something could come out yesterday and I could spoil it. I don't watch stuff that often. He was out for Vendetta? What? V for Vendetta, man. V for Vendetta, the comic is great. The movie was okay, but the comic was haunting. Haunting. So good. So good. Powers is great. Uh, I didn't watch it because I didn't want it to get ruined. But that man, that was a great fucking Brian Michael Bendis and Ava, uh, Michael Ivan Oming did a great job. Pianist was great. Godfather too. Haven't seen Legion. Hear really good things though. Wrath. I think whatever comes first is normally better. Unless we're talking about Fight Club. Aaron Blair, it depends how old you are because you have an excuse that the media is old enough and you're too young. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree with that. I think that you have to you have to draw a line in the sand somewhere. We're not talking about Fight Club. Oh, Good, Bad, and the Ugly was a prequel. Yeah, David, right? And vice versa. Isn't it his name's David in Legion? Oh, the pianist is great. Very sad, and but very good movie. Ah, oh, whatever. Chuck Palahniuk. Wrath. Have you read Lullaby? It's great. Uh, that's great. I love that. The unreliable narrator and vice versa is one of my favorite um, devices, storytelling devices. Memento, man. Look at Memento. Ninety-nine percent of what I love is stuff that's beyond older than me. I went and took the time and love and care to get into music books. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Age doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, like, there has to come a point at which it's like, I don't know your situation. So if something's been out for 50 years, like if Grendel, one of the oldest stories, uh, narrative stories ever in humanity, if you haven't read it, that's not my problem. It's It's been out for the entire time you've been alive. So if you haven't come across it, I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, yeah. But that's the thing is like anti fogomatic I think that you bring up a good point, which is there are very few things in books, movies, TV that I think gets truly spoiled without context. I think for many things, context is everything. Um for instance, something happens in the 
Force Awakens, I think. A big thing that happens in The Force Awakens, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it, but I kind of guessed what was going to happen and someone confirmed it. And then I was like, oh, okay. But it's context. The way it happened was interesting. Um, I think the thing with Captain America in Endgame was probably one of the only situations I can think of recently where I'm glad that that wasn't spoiled for me and the context doesn't matter really. Um, but something like Dumbledore, something like these other things, um, context does matter. It really, it really does matter. And in many ways, like it's, that's half the spoiler. Yeah, Jungle Germania, that's true. But you think about, like, let's, let's talk about Darth Vader for a second. This is a great example because I grew up knowing Darth, what Darth Vader's situation was and who he was. And yes, that's an amazing spoiler. But I grew up with it and it didn't, it still was amazing to watch it. It wasn't amazing in the same way, but it was, it was still a fantastic piece of cinema and a great experience to watch. I mean, you know, so I don't think it necessarily ruins it, but that's going to happen with every generation. So Harry Potter is still really great. What makes Harry Potter great is not the twists and turns and the spoilers. It's the adventure you're going on with these people. And so that, you know, in its own way, if, if something is uh, well done, it doesn't it doesn't matter. The spoilers don't matter. Fight Club is still, to me, a really fun movie to watch. And if it's on, I'll definitely watch it. And it doesn't, the big reveal doesn't ruin it for me. It was great to watch in the theater, but it's a re, still a really fun movie regardless. And I think if your piece of art truly matters and hinges on a spoiler, you haven't done a great job as a, an artist or a creator in making something that's going to stand the test of time. Right, everyone's spoiled on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Everyone's spoiled on Frankenstein. Everyone's spoiled on these other things. Yeah, Sixth Sense is another good example. Like, that's still a really great movie. It's really fun to watch. It's got some freaky fucking parts. And it's still great. I mean, again, if, if it's all spoiled... But look at other M. Night Shyamalan movies. I mean, like, you know... And by the way, I really like The Village. I thought that was great. Oh, Whiskey Samurai, I mean, it's the latest research published in the Journal of Psychological Science shows that knowing the ending of a story before you read it doesn't hurt the experience of the story. It actually makes you enjoy the story more. That's the spoiler paradox. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, in many ways, it's kind of like sometimes it's this thing where I'm almost like obsessed. Like Force Awakens is a great example. Going in, I was so obsessed with what's going to happen, what's going to happen, what's going to happen. I didn't enjoy the fucking movie at all until like the third time I saw it. And I haven't seen it all the way through three times, but like until I saw pieces of it then, and I was like, oh, okay, this was good. Like, whereas Rogue One, I wasn't expecting anything and I was just enjoying the story and I was fucking blown away. I mean, when you go to the dude's, you know, the guy's castle and that, that and Krennic, you know, shows up and, and talks to the, who we know who we're talking about here. That was so fun because I wasn't expecting anything like that. I wasn't expecting like who's going to die, what's going to happen, what's going to happen to the Force, what's going on, where's Luke Skywalker, all this other shit. It just took out all that stress. And so I think in many ways like that – and like I'll, I'll think about a movie like Gravity for instance. Gravity – I don't know if you've seen Gravity but there's many twists and turns in that movie – many of which were very unexpected and I wasn't expecting any of it to happen. And so I just loved it. If I was like, Oh my God, what's going to happen? It, you know, Ooh, like, does she survive? You know, or if they're, I'm trying to even make a great example, but you know what I'm saying? Like it really can take away from the story. What's your Titanic story, Danielle? I love that play. I don't think spoilers are everything, especially for a classic helps to know what's going on before watching it. So you can break. Yeah. Again, it's not the whole thing. I'm not a huge fan, but I thought the ending was great and really liked the character. What? Oh, Rogue One. Yeah, it was great. So fun. Well, Wrath, the reason why I said the thing is I'm thinking of ending things is 
because I wanted you to experience it the same way I did. And you know what? I don't, I don't know if it would have hit you as hard, but I will say, knowing how that book ends, going back and reading it now, it hits me differently and very sad. Very, very sad. Oh, that's funny, Bryn, you bad. So, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is, but why the fuck? All my lights keep coming back on. I turn these fuckers off. Dude, ghosts. A tintype causing problems in here. There we go. That's what you want. But yeah, so it's like, it's one of those things where I think, yeah, I mean, look, I, and you know, but you know, here's another good example. Now I hear to play devil's advocate with myself. Stories untold. Remember we were playing that game and it was just blowing our minds right and left. And I've recommended Stories Untold to many people because of our experience playing that game. And that game is great, but I would say that game does not stand the test of time. It does rest on the spoilers. That game is all about spoilers. It's a great, it was really fun, but that would not, right? That would not have been as fun if we hadn't gone through it together. It was amazing, right, Mishy? But it was only amazing because we didn't know what was going to happen. Right? Or no, am I wrong? Danielle says, my mom and her friend were going to the IMAX at the Alamo in San Antonio. That's cool. They are going to see the story of the Alamo. And as they were walking up, people were walking out crying. Mom's friend turned around and was like, wow, no, this is a big Titanic spoiler. Mom's friend turned around and was like, wow, I didn't know the story of the Alamo was so emotional. They were also showing a preview of Titanic that night. That's really funny. Tintype ghost stocks, uh, strikes again. Is this Spoiler Sunday? No, it's Scary Sunday. I just said I'd talk about the rental, and that got us into the spoiler situation. Agreed, and it wouldn't be as good to play it again. That's true. Uh, we're going to play a game here in one second. Jungle Jim says, that's the same thing with tapping, with taping live things like sports. It's not the same as watching it live, so it's going to be spoiled for me regardless because the experience is different live than recorded. Yeah, but sports is a different thing because that's also a group activity for the most part. Like... You feel like you're a part of something and you can't get that recorded later. So that's not exactly like a movie, I would say. Yeah, it's not a good game for replay. I don't watch tra trailers. If it's a movie I'm going to see, I don't I don't even bother. They have my money. I'm like, fuck it. Uh, I didn't like the rental. No, I thought it was. I wanted there to be a movie after the rental called the rental that I would watch and something would happen. Oh, James Patterson is good. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the book, whatever comes first, I think is better. The book comes first, the book is better, normally. Stories Untold was awesome, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't didn't feel worth it to me. The gate, here it comes. Trailers just tell too much. It's interesting, if you listen to the J.J. Abrams... Conan O'Brien needs a friend. Uh, he talks a lot about that, which was really great, and specifically about making the Cloverfield trailer, which I thought was incredibly cool. Um, and about and about kind of the, you know, the situation there with like how trailers are made and the kind of the business of it and why you know they shot the Cloverfield tra trailer before they shot the movie or kind of concurrently. And managed to get it out in theaters, so that's why it ended up not having a bunch of uh, crazy shit in it from the movie. Yeah, right. Whitney Houston's uh, video took away, to, uh, spoiled the entire Bodyguard movie. I will say also, there's that famous thing where in they just started to make the prequels for Star Wars. This is a famous thing, but and nobody knew it was going to happen because you know the the only um the only other movies were the first three films and so you know you have liam neeson in here uh oh this is really funny you have liam neeson in here and, and as qui-gon and and um what's his face as obi-wan and on this soundtrack on the cd soundtrack it said death of qui-gon jinn as one of the songs and people were like what the fuck you know like totally spoiled it which is like hilarious uh 
Chocolate Pizza completely agreed. Cloverfield was great. 10 Cloverfield Lane was awesome. Really, really fun and insane. I mean, you want to talk about sticking the landing. Holy shit. That movie sticks the landing hardcore. So fun. If you haven't seen 10 Cloverfield Lane, it's John Goodman is so good. Elizabeth Win- Winstead is so good. Uh, the guy is really great in it. He actually ends up being the bad guy in Hush, which is fun. So John Goodman is such a great actor, period. Um, Sue Grafton. I've never read. Oh, my God. Ready Player One. The book was way better. But the book should have been three books also. The book could have been way better. Tank Lover Lane was great. And the end was insane. It's exactly what it, what you wanted it to be. So fun. <laughs> explains the track title Jar Jar sucks. I don't have I don't have hate for Jar Jar like other people do. Oh, sorry Toko, see ya. Uh but I will say uh I do love the theory that uh Jar Jar is like actually a Sith. It makes me laugh. Yeah, right? Ten Cloverfield Lane was awesome. But again, if I had gone into it thinking like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Cloverfield Lane. I, I it was low expectations. Those matter too. Jar Jar Sith Lord. I know. Makes me laugh. You were named after Jar Jar Binks. I love it. Juna Binks. There we go. Makes sense. Used to be Jar of Binks. That's right. John Goodman doesn't get enough credit. That dude's one of my favorite friggin' actors. He's so good, man. Yeah, Ready Player One, too ambitious, but... Um... Misa Darth? Darth of Misa? That's fun. I need a good flick. Uh, any good? Any more good horror movies? Let me know. Relic was fun. I need some some different ones, man. I need something different, and fun. I was gonna watch. This isn't a horror movie, but Guns Akimbo. Has anybody seen that? I love me some Daniel Radcliffe. Am I stalling? I just want you to see my good haircut. Oh, Red State. But dude, Red State. The end was like insane. That's, Red State was like, what the fuck, man. Red State, I was like, come on. The end was nuts. Solomon Kane? Have I seen Solomon Kane? Maybe I have. True Stories. No, I haven't seen True Stories. How about the song Sinking of the Titanic? Damn spoiler songs. Whoa! You have a copy of Ready Player One signed by Ernest, Ernst Klein and the dude that wrote The Iron Giant. Dead Silence. It's a good horror movie. Ooh, about ventriloquist dummies. I like that. Uh, do I think the Mortal Kombat movie will be good? I don't think they can make a better movie than the fucking game, which is basically a movie interspersed with fights. So, no, I don't think it's going to be good. Guns Akimbo wasn't good. Uh, I saw Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix, a couple of them. It was fine. Just reminded me of Dateline, man. I didn't like The Endless. Is that the one with the portals? I haven't seen Spring. Don't watch The Turning. It sucks. Oh, John Goodman and The Big Lebowski is, I mean, one of the greatest things of all time. Oh, Seven Psychopaths is fun. I thought Seven Psychopaths was fun. I haven't seen Spring. I gotta see Spring. Yeah, True Stories is an old movie, but a good one. Yeah, the new animated Mortal Kombat was good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just don't fuck with it, man. That's also like, don't make a Last of Us TV show. I don't need it, man. Knives Out was fantastic. I loved parts of Seven Psychopaths, for sure. I just thought the end list just never got there for me. Yeah, leave The Last of Us alone. Leave Brittany alone. If you could see how cute Julie and I look sitting watching fireworks on her Animal Crossing Island, your heart would melt. It's melting now. Gears of War movie. That could be fun. The games are thin enough that the a movie could be fun. The ending of the original Roseanne is insane. What was that, Will? It was like she is an author. Wait, do you guys know about this? The end of Roseanne, the last episode? It turns out Roseanne was an author and writing 
everything down. Dan had died years ago and she was living alone, right? And was like writing stories to keep him alive or something. I mean, it was fucking bananas. It's like, it was so nuts. Yeah, it was like, what the fuck? Wait, I gotta read this out. Uh, I never saw the Green Mile movie, but the book definitely made me cry. Also, I read it as it came out. It was like serialized, which was an interesting way to do things. Um, ending of Roseanne. The ending of the fucking dinosaur show was is is the craziest thing ever. Oh, here we go. In the season's final episode. Uh, okay, season nine. Here we go. Season nine. The opening titles of season nine say the start. Say, still say the show stars Roseanne, but the first episode credits her as Roseanne Barr Pentland Arnold Thomas. The ninth and originally final season features many changes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. The Connors win the state lottery jackpot of $108 million. Dan ponders the meaning of life. Jackie meets her prince. Uh, DJ finds love and Darlene, after some trouble, gives birth. John Goodman is absent for most of this season. He's, he's, he was busy filming The Big Lebowski. In later episodes, Goodman resembles his Lebowski character, Walter Subicek. In the season's final episode, Roseanne reveals the entire series itself is actually a story written by Roseanne Connor about her life. To cope, Roseanne twisted major elements of her life for the story, which the audience does not discover until the final moments of the season. In reality, Dan's heart attack near the end of season eight was fatal, and the Connor family did not win the lottery. A story arc running through the final season that Dan betrayed Roseanne by having an affair. It reveals to be false. Uh, Dan's betrayal wasn't having an affair, but dying. Um, yeah, that's insane. I mean, what are we? What are we doing? It's crazy town. That's a crazy ending. It's hard to end stuff, man. I think that's one thing. Look, we're gonna start playing a game. We've, this has been too much talking and too much traveling through Mordor. But I think that. Uh, I never saw the end of news radio, but I love news radio. That's why Dead Silence is so creepy. Um, but yeah, the thing is, I, I think that it's really hard to end things. And like, we talk about movies like The Rental. We talk about Relic. We talk about all these other things. It's really hard to stick the landing. That's like when I, with well, these, these games like Stories Untold, that stick the landing, or like 10 Cloverfield Lane... It's super hard to end stuff. And I can't even imagine having a show. Hopefully one day I can't. I will do this. But that's on for nine years and then having to end it. How do you do that? How do you do that? And I think that I, I think that the way to do it is, and we were talking about this, I think, before. But I think people try to overthink things. You've got to go back to simplicity. You have to make it simple. And I think in many ways... Going simple for an end is a better is a better way to go than trying to shoot for the moon and wrap everybody's story up. Oh, this is the Mines of Moria. That's right. The Mines of Moria, not Mordor. Dawson's Creek was horrible. End of Seinfeld. Like, we're talking about, like, you know, like, Lost was fucking stupid. They got just too crazy and insane the very very end the last shot of lost is cool but it's like you just gotta keep it simple man keep it simple new heart was the best that was fantastic mash amazing katie says it really is hard to end stuff i write short stories in a writing group i'm in and that short story wouldn't end and ended up being over thirteen thousand words wow damn oh phil hartman's the best best ever i never saw what how did scrubs end i never saw the end yeah, the ending of Lost was garbage. It's crazy. You just gotta, you gotta just simple, man. Just simplicity. Or tie it back to the beginning. That's the easiest way to do it. What did Scrubs do? You called the Lost Smoke Monster season two? Wow. Yeah, the DC movies are terrible. We talked about that too. It's just like they're trying to do everything Marvel did in a decade and do it in two movies. 
Scrubs just wrapped nicely. No huge revelations, just closure. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm probably, I mean, I know I'm way older than most of you, but I thought Cheers had a great ending. The ending of Cheers was just as simple as possible. There's, he's going to go on this plane. He's going to leave and I think move in and like marry Diane and all this shit. Ted Danson. But then he realizes it's a mistake. He's going to miss the bar. That's where he belongs with his friends. And so he goes back to the bar and they're still there. Norm and all these guys. And he locks the door, puts the closed sign on the door and they all kind of drink after hours. And you're kind of like, that's it, man. That's exactly what you want. You want them to be together. It's happy. It's just kind of like they're going to live on and, and they're going to belong. They're going to be together and that's it. And that's kind of perfect. It was absolutely really perfect at the end. And they nailed it. Whoa, that's crazy. Wow, that's crazy, Cassia. So Cassia says... Uh, a random thing about the Green Mile. I met the real John Coffee from the Green Mile. Stephen King got the name and, quote, liked the drink but not spelled that way from his writing professor at Emerson. He, Professor Coffee, took my first boyfriend and I out for dinner and told us about it. That's awesome. Ending of Cheers is great. Great ending, right, Mark? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, Jeffrey, someone knocks on the door and he says, sorry, we're closed. The end of Black Adder is good, too. Dark as fuck, but good. I never said uh, young ones. Oh, I never saw the end of Adventure Time. How did it end? Lost ending was what it was, but still had everybody talking. I believe that's better than the boring ending. No, you're right. Jungle Jimini, you're right. They took a swing. I They failed, but they took a swing. Scrubs had JD walk down the hospital wing and see everyone from the past encourage him and ended with him seeing his future with Elliot, saying, why can't his fantasies come true? That's cool. Twin Peaks Returns? Yeah, but I heard, I read a thing where that actually wasn't the ending. The real ending was three episodes earlier. And they actually win. They actually beat whatever the fucking craziness is. Uh, agreed. The Walking Dead, it's going to be interesting how they try to end it. Freaks and Geeks is great. Yeah, Adventure Time is over. Uh, Sopranos is fine. I don't know. It's okay. Oh, it's beautiful till he got you. Was it somebody famous who knocked on the door and cheers? Uh, Bob Broder. I don't know who Bob Broder is. Oh, he was he was their agent. They had their agent knock on the door. That's funny. What's up, a pizza that giant? Oh my god, am I making pizza tonight for dinner? I already had pancakes for dinner. We'll see. All right, Resident Evil time. You bastards. Let's do it. Fuck this man. Oh, device not available. Oh well, guess we're not playing. Just kidding. <laughs> Here we go. Do I need these for this? Because I hate these. I mean, I think we all want to see me play Resident Evil VR first, right? I've played some Resident Evil 7 in VR, and it's absolutely fucking terrible. It's so scary. I'm down to try it. I like a show that says goodbye to the viewer. That's true. Oh, bye, Astrobot. All right, let's do this. Oh, fuck this, man. Do I have to? I think I have to stand for this, right? I won't stand for it. Oh, you know what? This has to get plugged in. Hold on. There has to be plugs and stuff. Hold on a second.
what do we got here? Yeah, Hellblade, Hellblade is scary for sure, but this is like another level of shit that's gonna fuck me up. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, d Jeffrey, I do like VR. Um, PSVR is a little sloppy, uh, and it can be really frustrating at times. Uh, ankle still hurts. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but it's much better. Um, but yeah, but the, the thing is, I, I think the vibe is way better. I mean, obviously. Um, and I think we'll play some VR and vibe. Now that I have the standing desk, I can actually like play VR stuff, which is one of the reasons why I got it. Um, so, yeah. I don't need jump scares to be a scary game, but in VR, I think you want jump scares, right? That's the point. You guys want to see me pee my pants? Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes? Fuck this. I already hate this, by the way. Is that claw? I'm, I'm already scared. Can we just talk about... I'm already afraid of this. It, it was sloppy. PSVR is pretty sloppy, for sure. It's great, but... <laughs> Billy Madison said peeing your pants is cool. Well, I'm gonna be real cool tonight. Uh, I'm good, Chris. How are you? We're playing a little Resident Evil on uh, on PSVR, so I'm not really super excited right now. A little nervous. I'm never ready, so. I'm already scared. I'm doing easy. Oh man, I hate this. Does this feel good? It's a good, is this a good sec? Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me all right? All right. It was a fun chat session. Okay. Oh man, I don't like this. I, by the way, prefer this than the smooth. This doesn't make me feel as sick for some reason. I don't know. Like, if you go smooth, it makes me, like, really feel sick for some reason. But this, I think, my brain can kind of get around it. So I know it looks weird, but it's better for me.
Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared, you guys. <laughs> Fuck this, man. I'm by myself in my house. This is scary. I already feel uncomfortable, so... Oh, I'm already over here. Okay. No, we're playing the DLC. I already beat it. I have th three DLCs that we're going to play. Hey, baby. Oh, shit. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I, yeah, I don't really want to... I cannot wait to be done with this baby. Also, it looks like a giant... Uh, uh, yeah, we know what's up. This game had a great ending, by the way, right? Didn't it end really great? They stuck the landing. Remember? Remember when we when we recorded this? Wasn't that cool? We were on the fucking boat. We're on the boat right now. Oh god, this was so fucking scary. If you get this. Stay away. Stay away. Yeah. I don't play the DLC, but let's just start this in VR, okay? It is cool how it hey, makes it a big projector. It's Ethan. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. Yeah, dude, you're going to wish you were dead, by the way. I don't know. Look, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. I can't wait to cut off your hand. Yeah. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know. I yeah, know. stay away. I have to find out what happened. We don't, by the way. Right now, it still is a, a TV screen. Can you guys see that? Whoa! Whoa, you guys. Whoa! Whoa! This is the place. Whoa! Holy shit, this is fucking crazy. Whoa! Wow! Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I hate... I hate this. I hate this. I hate I hate this. I really really hate this. There's going to be an old woman up there, right? Oh, there's the house. Oh, you guys, this is really bad. Oh my god, I'm so glad we're not playing this all the way through. This is wild. Also, I'm like way shorter than I think. I need to be like taller. It is weird. I feel like I'm... Sh is this what it's like to be short, you guys? Very creepy. Oh, this is so fucking creepy in VR, man. Oh, this is so much worse. Whoa. Oh, remember this? Remember this?
Oh, this is awful. This is awful. This is really awful. Oh, this this game sucks. Is there something here? Oh, there's like an old woman, or right? Don't we see my, Mia up here? Oh, this is... Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Oh, this is so much scarier. This is so much scarier in VR. Oh, what is that? Oh, this is awful. Oh, I hate this. And when you run, your eyes get like... Oh, this is awful. Oh, no. Nothing jumps out of me here, right? I'm trying to remember where the scares are. Oh, that's right. Oh, fuck this. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh! Fuck, man. I hate this. I really despise this. I really hate VR, and I hate this game. Heavily. Uh, remember this, you guys? You guys remember how fucking terrible this was? Why would we go back into this house? Because we're insane. It does look horribly real. Whoa, crazy. Fuck this, man. You guys remember this shit? Oh, this is so much fucking worse! This is terrible! Oh, man, come on! Oh, this is awful. I don't want to play this. Burner fuel? Oh, fuck. This is legitimately awful. This is absolutely terrible. Oh my god, it looks so real. This looks so fucking real, man. This is not... Oh my god. What happens here? Look at this, dudes. Look at the fucking detail here. It's crazy. I I'm in this house. This is like a fucking nightmare. Look at this. Oh my god, this is awful. You guys, I'm serious. This is really bad. This is really really scary. Slam, right? Yeah, that's right. I still think we could have just kicked that door open by the way and left. Oh, this is awful. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this shit. Whoa, look it up there. Y'all, this is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. This is terrible. I just want everybody to know that this is really scary. This is so fucked up, man. It's so realistic. It's re legitimately really fucked up. It's really scary. I don't want to play this. I really don't.
Also, I'm, like, way shorter. What's also weird, It I know it's because of the game, but, like, the ceiling is low and I'm low, so I feel like a child, which is fucked up. By the way, these are regular windows we could have just broken and jumped out of. This is... Fucking terrible. This is terrible. Oh my god, the bugs. Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, you guys. I don't remember there being this many bugs in this game. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I can play this. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, my God, you guys. I don't know about this. I don't know about this, man. Okay, let's, uh... Let's play the DLC, right? This is fucking terrible. Hey, you wanted to eat in the dining area of Taco Bell. This is really bad. The fridge is scary for sure. Oh, the flickering light? Oh, that's my, uh, that's my fan, sorry. How's that better? Uh, the pr the DLC, I think, is... I don't know what it is. Oh, much of the DLC isn't playable in VR? Really? Whoa! This is different. Look at this. Whoa! Whoa, look at this. Oh, we're in the trailer. We're in Zoe's trailer. play that. Wait, should we try this? Can this be PSVR? Oh. Ah! Guys, it hasn't finished downloading. I did work in a terror park, but it's different. It's not scary when you're Mia. All right, let's just keep playing. This sucks. I hate this. Okay. I'm going to play as much as I can, but I'm letting you guys know right now, this is like on another level of really scary, okay? I'm going to do my best, but my foot's fucked up. It's it's really scary. I'm already like kind of freaked out. This fucking fan has to go off.
Fans freaking me out. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go. This is like... It's fucking scary, man. It's fucking my shit up. There's something white in the oven. It's garbage. Oh, here we go. All right, I hate this. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this in VR. You guys, you know I love you, but this is a lot, dude. All right, here we go. Let's go. Nothing happens for a minute, right? What's the first scare? Do we remember the first scare? <laughs> I don't want to play this. Alright, let's fucking nut up here. Oh, I'm not playing that fucking tape yet. That's locked. There's all these weird fucking noises I didn't hear before. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, fuck. Alright, isn't there a... It's like down here, right? Oh, I have to play the fucking thing first? Fuck you. Thing that happens in this game? Something bad happen here? Fuck. Doesn't Mia show up? She like shows up here or something, right? Oh, that's awful. This is the opposite of Astrobot. Oh, we gotta go upstairs. Hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Nothing happens yet, right? Right, right, right. Huh? Oh, you guys. Very stressed out right now. I'm very stressed out. Yes. I'd like it when the menu comes up because then it's kind of like there's... I. It makes me feel like I'm not like in really in this house. You know what I'm saying? Videotape Brothers, get it. Yeah, Mishy, you don't understand. Every moment I'm in this game is really scary. I know it looks boring to you guys, but, like, I can't remember the first jump scare. It's really fucking scary. That would be awesome, Dean. That'd be freaky. All right, here we go. Get back into it. I know it doesn't look like anything's happening, but you have to understand, like, I'm hearing everything. I'm in this fucking house, how it actually is. It's awful. Fuck. I do the tape first, right? And then and then she comes out. <laughs> 
fuck. How fucked. You guys don't understand how scary this is, man. Okay, let's do it. Oh, this is... I remember this being terrible, right? Don't we just get killed here? This is like we just get murdered, right? Am I going to have to play this? Whoa. Oh my god, we're in it! Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, these guys get right this time, these guys get fucked up. Fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. Wow, this is on another level, man. <coughs> Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. If we do a walkthrough of the inside first. Then we shoot the intro, just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Static. You know what? This actually might be better if it's a little... Graphics are crazy good. After you. It's crazy being in here with these guys, Yo, man. Why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. God, Ooh, we're really awesome. here. This is so fucked up. The detail's Fuck. crazy. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. Story, Andre. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. Wouldn't any of them have a gun, by the way? Did we already talk about this? How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. Clancy, <coughs> get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. You know, quiet, she's a giant. She's got a womb full of bugs. He, uh, you cut his fucking head off and... And it grows back. I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Oh, the guy's dead. Andre, what do you think? He's gone. Andre? I forgot about that. Andre! Yeah, man. Andre! Yep. Why would we come here at night? See where Andre went? Why would we come here at night, man? Oh, man. What happens here again? Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. Doesn't something and happen? Producers, they come and go. But a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Oh, uh, he gets killed, right? Or something? I honestly can't even make jokes. I'm so scared right now. Fuck. Fuck, man. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Why wouldn't we run, you fucking asshole? Let's run. Let's get out of this house, you dumb shit. Andre? Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I fucking hate this. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. Andre, where are you, man? I'm so sweaty right now. So fucking sweaty. Oh, I despise this. I love, like, he knows to look in the thing. 
And it's bullshit that I can't just press the thing, by the way, that I have to play this dumb shit thing through before it opens up. Oh, this sucks. What the hell? Oh, you guys. You guys. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. I mean, fuck Andre already, basically. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I gotta go downstairs. Oh, I get killed here, right? You first. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. So, uh, you first. Right. This is where I get killed. I get killed here. This is so fucked up, you guys. This is so fucked up. I hate this. All right, let's go. It breaks and I die, right? I hate this. What do you see? What is it? Oh, man. Oh, fuck this. Okay, let's do it. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. I've done it before, didn't need to play that part. There we go, just like every house has. So, did they, like, their house always had this shit in it? Even before they got infected? Is that the thing? Oh. I think they added more bugs for the VR version. That's scary. It's terrible. God, Damn look how, I didn't realize how far down we are. It's crazy. Look how far down we are, you guys. I mean, that's like a good, like, 50 feet. No, 30 feet. Maybe. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. I hate this. Oh, this is awful! Oh my god, I hate this. Oh, something bad happens here. Something bad happens here. Oh, oh my god. This is sucks. This sucks. My eyes are closed to the VR headset, by the way. Now they're open. Oh, dudes, this is... Oh, shit! This is terrible. I hate this. Something happens here, right? Oh, this sucks. Fuck this! Fuck this! Something pops up here, right? Yeah, 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 okay. It's very close. That's extremely... That's very, very detailed. Oh. Oh, I hate this. Oh my god, I'm so fucking sweaty right now. Guys, this is like... Fuck, fuck, fuck.
This is like I'm really down here. Oh, there's our first toilet. Guys, you remember? Toilet number one. It is like I'm really fucking in here and it's awful. Yeah. Holy shit. This is like real, man. Fuck, this is so fucked. God, this is the worst game I've ever played in my life. All these people dead or turned into slime monsters, right? Turned. All looks so real, man. Yeah. Thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Very close. Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. You're right. I shouldn't. What do you mean? You contacted me. No. No, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Oh, I hate this. Fuck. This is awful. This is so awful. Definitely an illegal toilet. Lumberzack, is that like the toilet? Is it illegal? This is now where we lose a hand upstairs. What do you think of naming my controller holding position Anna Anasaurus Blex? Am I holding it a weird way? It's really scary. Am I holding it like this? It's fucking horrifying. It's like my heart rate is just like... Cut a garden of dicks off. I don't remember have any weapons right now. This is the scariest part of the game. Awful. I mean, look. A toilet is a toilet. If you're going to start calling a, a bucket a toilet, you could just call the floor a toilet, and then we're all in trouble. I love you replaying this from the beginning. I missed the first half. Yeah, it's the worst. I was holding my hand. Yeah. It, the water was right here, by the way. It was horrifying. I thought there was something going to come out of the water. It makes me feel better to hold my hands up. Like, physically. Also, keep in mind, I'm standing on one foot playing this game, too, by the way. Let's just keep that in mind. It makes me feel better, Steven. It makes me, honestly, it makes me feel better to do this. I'm standing on one foot because I sprained my ankle. Yeah. It's an immersive experience. It's fucked up. All right, here we go. Thank you, Uncle Scar. Thank you, Bl uh, Mark. Imagine Twitch 3D stream. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. All right, let's go. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Also, we're like in, we're really in this basement. It's hard for me to describe, but it's like. You've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Yeah, dude. Also, she's like three feet tall. They got the height a little bit janky in here. Oh, this part's terrible. Fuck. This is awful. By the way, just living in this house would be fucking place? scary. What they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. Yeah, you seem confident. What the fuck, dude?
Oh, this is so much scarier in VR. What the fuck is this shit? Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Is no, this... Mia. That wasn't me. Wait, is this where she goes crazy? I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything Okay, know. settle down. I know you're... Have to go this way. This sucks. Fuck, what happens here? Something bad, right? Shit. Oh, fuck. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. The family used to bring me food through here. Oh, this is terrible. Is this where she turns crazy? There. It's there. Oh, fuck. This is it. I don't remember what happens here. Oh, guys, remember when we come... Oh. There's another door here. Remember when we come back to this room? There is another door, remember? Because that's how we get out. It's through there. That's it right there. It's gone. That's the door we come back through. After all this, oh, this is. There's another door. I'm sure of it. There is another door. It's here. This is the door. Holy shit! Wait, look, you guys. Look, we can see through the door. You guys see that? Whoa, that's crazy. You can actually see through the door. This is where we come back to at the very end of the game, after the whole thing. Wow, that's so cool. Wait, isn't that wild? Isn't that spooky? So it actually exists right now. That's pretty sweet, huh, Steven? Weird, right? I like that, though. What are we? Oh, there she is. Look, see, right from the very beginning. E001. <laughs> Patient Zero. Oh, something bad happens in here. Yeah, remember? Hold, remember? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, this is where we break out. This is the mines. These are the mines of the terrible creatures. This is where we come out of, remember? That's wild. So crazy to think about. Again, this game sticks the landing, man, at the end. Yeah. Oh. This part's bad, right? This is where stuff starts getting really scary. The cake is a lie. Why do the bakers feel the need to have a mine underneath their house? I don't know. Maybe they bought it and they didn't know. All right, this is where things get very bad, I think. Yeah, this is... I'm not excited for this part. Yeah, this is where she fucks my whole situation up. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, fuck me up, fam. I'm ready. Now it's like storming and sh Yep. I'm ready. All of a sudden, it's storming. Phone? This is... this sucks. 
This legitimately sucks. I mean that. In every possible way. This sucks. Not now. The scariest part about this game is that I'm so short in it. God, being short must be awful. This sucks. This fucking sucks. This sucks. Alright. Here she comes. Here she comes. Ready? Fuck you, bitch. Rain stopped. Right? Doesn't Mia come out? I'm not going near that room. Fuck that. Music. Fuck this. She comes out of the door now, right? Oh, this fucking sucks. This sucks. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. She comes out of this door. Oh, no. She has to come up the stairs, I think, right? Okay. Right, she's got she's gonna come at me. I hate this. Yep, that's right, this sucks. <laughs> I hate this game, man. I think she has to attack me though, right? Doesn't that have to happen? Doesn't she have to attack me? Oh, my foot is so tired. I have to go down the stairs. Fuck. Oh my god. All right. Okay. 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 Let's go. Fuck you, bitch. Eat door, bitch! Come on! Where are you? Let's go! Fuck you! Fuck you, dick! I hate this! I hate you! I hate you! Fuck! Oh, fuck! This sucks! This sucks! This sucks! This sucks! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! This is awful! Jesus Christ! Fuck this, dude! What is it, R2? Oh, this is awful! This is awful! Get the fuck off me! This is terrible! Mia? Mia? Don't. God. God, you're terrible. Yeah! No! Oh, don't grab the blade, you moron! Oh, look at her eyes! They're all fucked up! Jesus Christ! Yeah! I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside. Yeah. She's a terrible. Ow! Don't. Leave me alone. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I'm gonna... Don't do that. I deserve this. She looks so crazy. She looks so much crazier in VR. She looks so insane. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna walk around. Do, 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 do. That looks crazy. Here comes the Jason. Oh my god, this is so fucking much worse. She's gonna like set up or something now, right? Fuck, how do we get out of here? What do we do? I don't remember what to do. 
Here she comes! I knew it! Fuck you! Ah, oh, you suck. Yeah! That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Bro. This sucks. Yeah! Eat door, bitch! Oh, fuck! I don't remember that! I... Yeah, it's okay, you're not dead. You're not even close to dead. You're so far from being dead. She looks so real, by the way. This looks so fucking real. It's so disturbing, what's happening. Dude, that is crazy! That is crazy! That is insane. So fucking real. Oh, here's the unhelpful person. You really shouldn't have come here. Yeah, no shit. Jesus. Man, what the fuck is going on? Phone's a little close to my face. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. There's no... Zoe, you're a liar. There is no way out of this house. All oh, right, this is where she comes after me, right? Doesn't she jump out of me? Here? Fucking bathroom's closed, right? She just went to the loo. I'll take that for sure. Where the fuck is she? Alright, she went that way. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Here she comes. She comes right out of that door. Here she comes. What? Here she comes. Here she comes! Here she comes! Here she comes! Here she comes! Oh. Oh. But something's happening. I thought she came out of that door. Oh, this is the door she comes out of. Right? No? Fuck. What happens now? Oh, I hate this. Oh my god. Fuck this game, dude. This sucks dick. Fuck. Right, right, right. Oh, this sucks. Maybe she comes out now? Does she come out now? Oh my god. I'm like literally out of breath. I'm so scared. Yeah, I'm trying to brace myself for scariness. It's about to happen any moment. I thought she fucking comes out sometime. Where do we go? God, they did such a good job at this game. Truly. I mean, this is so scary. Such a good job.
Where do we go here? Two toilets, by the way, two. Actually, that toilet downstairs is our second toilet. That's the first toilet we see in the game. Doesn't she pop out? We go back in here, right? Where do we go? Don't we have to get the... Yeah, we have to do the fuse, but we don't have the fuse, right? Up the stairs and hit the button. I think we did that, dude. We didn't do that? It doesn't... Do we have to do the fuse thing. Yeah, we have to get a fuse somewhere. I can't remember where we get it from. I don't, I, I can't remember where we get the fuse from. Does anyone know? Hey, really? Yeah, we got to get the fuse somehow. Drawers near the kitchen. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's in the kitchen here. I do remember something where we see her walk by in the kitchen, right? Oh, right, right, right. That's right. We could use the bolt cutters here. That's what it is. All right, now the bad shit's gonna happen. And listen, I'm just gonna say this. I don't wanna do this. Uh, I'm really scared, but we're gonna push through. And then, yep, that's exactly how I feel. And then uh, we're gonna end for the night, okay? Yep, that's right, that's right, I see you. All right, this part sucks. Let's just get it over with. We put the fuse in, and then she comes out at us. Right? That's what happens. This is going to be fucking terrible. Very scared about this. All right. Here we go. And now, your moment of zen. Here we go. Okay. Assume the position. Here she comes. Oh fuck. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. Oh fuck. I know you didn't mean to hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Yep. Yep. <gasps> no! You shouldn't have done. No! 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 It fucking hurts. Oh god! My arm's already cut off though. It's already I'm already missing an arm. Oh, this is fucked up, man. This is so fucked up, dude. This is horrifying. Oh, God damn it! Ah! Jesus Christ. Fuck. Must burn it all down. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, let's pick up our fucking hand, dude. 
Oh my god, fuck, look at that! I'm not sh I can't play her tonight, dude. I can't do it. That's it. That's it. We're, we're done. We're done for tonight. That's it. That's it. We're done. We can't. I can't do this anymore tonight. That's it. We've done it. I can't. I cannot play this game anymore. It's too much. It's too much. We did it. We did it. We're done. We're done. We did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, we did it, man. I'm soaked in sweat. That is so scary. So fucking scary. Holy shit. Uh, wow. That was... You know what? I'll say one thing after playing that game. My apartment feels a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner. Very scary. Very... I'm glad it was entertaining. Was it basically just me going like this the whole time? Just super afraid? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's fucking... I'm super sweaty. It's hard to... It's hard to explain how scary it is. I'm going to be honest. Like, it's real. It's hard to convey. I mean, it's just like, you know, it's like that thing of like, how do I know that the color I, bl uh, the color I see as blue is the color you see as blue? It's just like, it's hard to explain how scary it is. It's so fucking scary. You're in it. Like, when you're in there, the pipes are like right here. And, and, and when you're looking around, like there's pieces you don't, notice when you're playing the game because there's no depth really so you don't notice like on the walls there's like giant holes in the walls and shit it's crazy i love vr but i mean that game is really really scary put your put your hand under the pillow the hand fairy will give you money in the morning Yeah, the big amount is, yeah, you're just forced to look at the screen more closely. Yeah, everything is just closer. And also, like, the lighting is great. And really, I mean, obviously, you've all, we've all played games on headphones. But, you know, the, the surround sound, really, the audio is incredible. Yeah, you are in the game. I mean, this is like Resident Evil 7 in VR is probably the scariest thing I've ever played. I don't know that I could think of a game scare because you're in it you're you're fucking in it man and it's yeah it, the 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 detail is stunning i mean you look at like the next xbox the next playstation i can only imagine what's going to happen in vr in two years three years it's going to be incredible bandrick says the house at the end of the blair witch game scared me more than anything i ever played Ooh, interesting you know i didn't make it that far in the blair witch game it kind of got... I, I was, like, lost in the woods, I guess, like, just like the movie. But I know... I mean, the house at the end of Blair Witch was scary. Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil 7, though, is in a house. Resident Evil 8, you're, like, outside, right? It's a return to the franchise. Resident Evil 7 is scary because it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, my God. Silent Hill slash PT in VR would be so scary. Si uh, PT is one of the scariest games I've ever played, too. PT and VR, f go fuck yourself forever. I don't need that. Oh, the game was boring, but the house was great. All right, there we go. Is it worth playing the game to get to the house? The headphones are not part of that set. The, he the headset does come with earbuds, but I'm using my noise canceling headphones because it's that it's that more that much more intense. Resident Evil Eight is like a village and there are werewolves and stuff. I don't know. There's something to being in the house and and not having anywhere to go that's very scary 
that adds to the effect. Just even when you're playing the game in Resident Evil 7, it just feels like you're trapped. Much like this. It just feels like you're constantly... You're just completely... Oh, that, that sounds scary. It just feels like you're just trapped. There's nowhere to go. Resident Evil game in VR is the best. Astrobot is really fun. The move controllers so far have been garbage, but we'll try it again. Yes, my severed hand helped take the mind off my fucked up toe. Your club penguin girlfriend breaking up with you is the scariest shit ever. Oh, the, ha the haunted mansion ride is pretty good. Uh, all right, guys, that's it. Yeah, the hallway with the free drinks in the end. You know it. Drink some blood. Um, I need to play Astropod at the stream. No, I'm going to eat dinner, which is what I'm going to do after the stream right now. Uh, my chair flickering is not cool. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's it for tonight, kids. We'll catch you all back here. There we go. How's that? We'll catch you all back here tomorrow for a little Monday Madness. Thanks for the stream and the insults. That's right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. We will not be playing this in VR tomorrow. I think we're going to play Hellblade tomorrow. You done good, kid. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Have a great day tomorrow. Let's kick this week off right. See you on the flip side. Bye. NYC, dirty south, west coast, midwest, let's go. And pit pop to die before I wake. I put an extended clip and body them all day. Roll at every station, wreck the DJ. Roll at every station, wreck the DJ. And pit pop to die before I wake. I load an extended clip and body them all day. Roll at every station, wreck the DJ. Roll at A station, wreck the DJ. Chill, party, and die in the same corner. Get cast in fast body, they man's mama. Quick, fast, trigger fingers on a llama. Revenge in the eyes, Hennessy in the ganja. Words to the wise, we're feeling state of minds. Grinded, hitting Brazilian.